and welcome to WPLMS tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about WPLMS assignments. So in the latest 1.5 version, we have added a new feature called WPLMS assignments. So I'm going to quickly give you an overview of what this assignment feature is all about and then we can proceed to the creating part and evaluation part of the assignments. So you can locate this page in the demo under the features section miscellaneous and you can see the course assignments. So as you can see the course assignment is located at the bottom of every unit and it has a maximum duration and and maximum marks. A user can simply start an assignment by clicking on the link. So this is the assignment page. It shows the excerpt of the assignment, the maximum marks of the assignment and the timer for the assignment. So the assignment feature is more or less like quizzes just that the time goes into days and, and they have to be manually evaluated. So once a student starts an assignment, she can then upload the assignment and enter some details and click on upload assignment to upload the assignment. All the previous assignment submissions appear in this format. A student can simply clear her previous submissions using the clear, previ clear previous submission button. A student can submit an assignment any number of times but only the last submitted assignment will be considered in the evaluation. To submit an assignment a student can simply click on the submit assignment button and the bottom part which shows all assignment submissions this part is only visible to the administrator and the instructors of the course. Next is the manage assignments so this is the instructor part. Assignment submissions are located in the course admin submissions section. So in this section you can simply reset the assignment submissions for a student or evaluate them by clicking on the evaluate icon. Upon clicking the evaluation icon the assignment question and the submissions is loaded. If the assignment was of upload type then you'll see a download attachment link which will download the attachment and the instructor can then evaluate the assignment. Since assignments needs to be manually evaluated an instructor needs to enter the marks and remarks. So the remarks are sent as a message to the student using which the student and instructor can communicate for the assignment. So now we'll begin with the assignment creation part. To create an assignment, so in the latest 1.5 version, we have added a new plugin called WP LMS Assignments. This plugin will activate the assignments functionality in the WP LMS system. So you will see a new WP LMS Assignments plugin in the Appearance Install Plugin section. To install this plugin, you can simply select and click on install so in this case it is already installed so we will simply activate it so upon activation sometimes you will see a notification which may say that the following functions are not available in your server setup so in that case you need to avoid the upload part of the WPLMS assignments because Uploading functionality is very critical and it may be easily exploited by the outside elements to insert malicious code in your server. So once the plugin is installed and activated, you'll see an all assignments link in the LMS section. To create an assignment, you can simply click on add new. So you can start creating the assignments. You can add some content. You can add a subtitle, you can select the sidebar, then you need to enter the maximum marks and maximum time in days. 
if you want to include the assignment in in a course for evaluation purpose then you need to enable this switch and select the course so if you notice that we have given an all all assignments all assignment submission section in the assignment part so if an assignment is not connected to any course this part can be used to evaluate and give comments to the students and the assignment functionality will work as a standalone unit so after you connected the assignment to a course you need to select the assignment submission type you can select text area or upload field so for upload file you need to select the attachment file attachment types so if you need images then you can ask for images and it and this functionality supports a lot of other file types once selected you need to select uh, an assignment type this is helpful in sorting out if you have a lot of assignments so once you have published an assignment next is you need to connect this assignment to a particular unit and select a unit and in this unit you will now see a a link connect an assignment and you can select your assignment to connect this assignment to this unit so just just like this an assignment can also be connected to an event so you can edit any event and then you'll see a similar select box as you can see it says connect an assignment and you can select your assignment here so that's it from the assignment creation part next is the assignment management part so in this section we are going to start a course and in the course we have connected the assignment to a unit in the course so once the course is started you can see the connected assignment at the bottom of the unit you can click on it to open it in a new tab and to start an assignment you can simply click on start assignment button so now the full content of the assignment and the upload box along with additional notes is visible to me and it shows the allowed file types and the maximum file size supported by the server so we'll upload the assignment so after uploading the assignments and additional comments to upload the assignment you can simply click on upload assignment button and the assignment is uploaded to clear an assignment the user simply has to click on clear previous submissions and the assignment will be removed to submit an assignment the student simply has to click on the submit assignment button so this section all assignment submissions is only visible to me because i am also logged in as administrator and i can see the assignment image since the allowed file size file type was jpg and png i can see the image clicking on it will open the image in in a new tab so now as a student i will submit the assignment and to check the assignment user can simply click on check results so since the assignment is not evaluated it shows zero marks so next is we'll log in as instructor to evaluate the assignment to evaluate an assignment an instructor simply has to go to the admin section in the course under the submissions tab and locate the assignment submissions click to expand and an instructor can reset the assignment or evaluate the assignment upon evaluation the assignment content and the submitted content by the user along with the download attachment link is visible the instructor can then download the attachment and evaluate it after the instructor has evaluated the assignment she can simply enter the marks for the assignment and remarks so after giving the remarks to complete the assignment evaluation the instructor has to click on give marks now at this point instructor can also change marks and click on marks saved again so this will be the final marks used in course evaluation later on so once the marks are evaluated the assignment will no longer be there in the assignment submissions 
and as a student the student also gets a message which shows the assignment results available and clicking on it will show the assignment remarks and the check results button clicking on the check results it shows the results of of the assignment to see the instructor remarks clicking on the button takes you to the message thread back again so next is the evaluation of assignment in course evaluation so now as a student if i submit the course after filling everything I, and i submit finish the course it has been submitted for evaluation because it was set to manual evaluation mode now as an instructor i can click on admin and go to submissions course submissions and i can see the course submitted by the instructor now if i click on evaluate i can see the marks in the assignment and the marks in the quiz and the total marks for the course so based on which the percentage can be calculated if the course was set on auto evaluation mode the percentage was simply a division of this so we'll give some percentage for the course and mark the course as complete so that's it from wplms assignments section thanks for watching